Hello, greetings from Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. My name is Katsuyuki Wakabayashi, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering at Bucknell University. Today, I'd like to take you on a tour of Bucknell Engineering's Polymer Processing Laboratory, where we host and operate a very unique instrument called the Solid State Shear Pulverizer. Solid State Shear Pulverization, also known as SSSP, is a technique extensively developed at Northwestern University for mechanochemical modification of polymers, compatibilization of polymer blends, and filler dispersion in polymer nanocomposites. It is a simple, effective, environmentally benign, and industry scalable process. To guide you through the tour are two research assistants from the nearby Lewisburg High School, Andrew Fox and Peter Cernica. Now let's begin. The Polymer Processing Laboratory is located in the basement of Brake Iron Engineering Building. It has a special ventilation system, among other health and safety considerations. When the SSSP is in operation, the chiller compressor and the harsh pulverization lead to a rather noisy environment. The SSSP instrument is a custom modified 25 horsepower twin screw extruder manufactured by Krauss Maffei Berstorf Corporation. It employs 25 millimeter diameter co-rotating intermeshing screws with an L over D ratio of 35. The barrel is divided into seven sections. The material feed zone, main pulverization zones two, three, four, five, and six, and the bearing zone where the materials exit. Each of the pulverization zones has an independent temperature control. The cold barrel and screw environment is maintained by the recirculating ethylene glycol water mixture kept at negative 12 degrees centigrade by a 10 horsepower capacity industrial chiller. The materials are fed at a constant rate using individual volumetric feeders. In the case of nanocomposites with very low filler content, a custom-built syringe feeder is also available. Inside the barrels, material experiences significant levels of shear and compression, which can lead to fragmentation and fusion steps. Depending on the processing parameters and the type of materials, different phenomena such as chain scission of polymers, block copolymer formation between different polymers, and exfoliation and dispersion of nanofillers can occur. The physical output of the SSSP process is in the form of fine powder or small flakes, and the product can be molded into appropriate test specimens or products by applying short-term melt processes. The SSSP process can be controlled by several parameters, which can be tweaked individually or tailored in combination to achieve desired product. The most important parameter is screw design, which can be set up to give mild or harsh shearing action, as well as drive the materials forward or backward within the barrel. Because of the modular nature of screws, a wide range of designs can be created for specific purposes. Other controlled parameters include screw speed, feed rate, and barrel cooling temperatures. The overall shearing and pulverization effects can be defined by two process variables. The first is the residence time of the SSSP, which is the average time that materials spend inside the barrel. The second variable is specific energy, which characterizes the amount of mechanical energy input per gram of product. I hope you enjoyed this video tour and discovered some neat features and extensive capabilities of the solid state shear pulverization process. If you have any questions about the laboratory or the SSSP process, please feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching.